Salman Rajdeh, whose writings made him the target of Iranian death threats that forced him into hiding, was attacked on stage yesterday in western New York state. Rajdeh is on ventilator. He is likely to lose one eye. His liver has been stabbed and damaged following an attack on him on Friday. Nerves in his arm were also severed. Authorities have identified Salman Rajdeh's attacker as 24-year-old New Jersey-based Hadi Matar. Shortly after Salman Rajdeh arrived at the stage to deliver his speech, Matar attacked him at least once in the neck and at least once in the abdomen. He has long faced threat, death threats, remember, for his fourth novel, The Satanic Versus. We have been working to identify the suspect who was involved in the, in the attack at the Chautauqua Institution earlier today. Uh, the suspect has been identified as Haiti Matar, age 24, from Fairview, New Jersey. Uh, earlier today, at approximately 10.47 a.m., guest speaker Solomon Rushdie, age 75, and Ralph Henry Reese, age 73, had just arrived on stage at the institution. Uh, shortly thereafter, the suspect jumped onto the stage and attacked Mr. Rushdie, stabbing him at least once in the neck and at least once in the abdomen. Mr. Rushdie was provided medical treatment by a doctor who was in the audience until EMS arrived on scene. Uh, Mr. Rushdie was airlifted to a local trauma center and is still currently undergoing surgery. Like I said, it's very early. We don't have any indication of a motive at this time, but we are working with the FBI, the Sheriff's Office, and we will determine um, what the cause of this was or what the motive for this attack was. Our foreign affairs editor, Geeta Mohan, is getting us more details on that story. Geeta, what is Salman Rajdeh's condition as of now? Have you learned of any improvements so far? What are the doctors really saying? There would be only a very few. Uh, uh, who are into reading and would not have read uh, Salman Rushdie's work. Uh, they're reading under the shock because a lot of them uh, must have woken up to the news of Salman Rushdie uh, having been attacked yesterday in uh, New York. Uh, like you rightly said, uh, the, the agent of Salman Rushdie, Andrew Wiley, in a statement said that he had, uh, he had suffered severed uh, nerves to his arms and, uh, uh, and uh, could lose an eye. He is still on ventilators, so the matter is rather serious. And the, while the motive has not been uh, revealed by the police authorities, they have apprehended the man. The man is uh, being uh, questioned and interrogated. And yes, like you rightly said, 30, 30, over 30 years he's been, he's been living with a death threat. He had to change his name uh, to write, to continue writing, uh, and had a pseudonym as well uh, for, uh, for a while because of the kind of threat and fatwas against $30 million bounty uh, on his head. So uh, living under that threat, uh, when, when, when he and uh, the world thought that maybe the threat uh, is over and, the, and, and that uh, people are not looking for him or to attack him, he's been attacked in the most dastardly manner. Uh, we do not have more details apart from the fact that he still is on ventilator and if there has been any development since it is late in the night now in New York, we'll have to wait uh, until later in the evening today to get more updates on uh, Salman Rushdie's health.